That was the harvest. Now get ready for the second harvest. Because if a thing is coming to an end, and, it, and it's like nearly everything we've been doing is coming to an end, and being brought to a higher level, and those that are of Zion are going to be anointed in a way that I doubt as many of you have ever known. There is coming an abiding glory. Now, Harris has seen it, and some of you have. And I have. When that comes on you, that burns you. You don't ever want the world again. You want that abiding glory again. It's coming and will never leave the body of Christ again. And I was told in my latter days that I would see that first harvest one billion. Most of it would be you. That's now. That's equipping of people. And the first ones that will go into Zion will become the leaders. And I'm afraid you're not going to be able to meet in churches or sports stadiums. You're going to have to get in the open field because there will be crowds there like you've never seen before. A quarter of a million, half a million. And get ready for praise to dominate the whole service. Well, the praise just keeps going and going. Out there in that field, youth will come for praise. And they'll come, and that praise will be so strong that it's breaking the demonic realm to where it parts, and they'll get saved. That is our future. A billion souls saved. It's going to take a lot of finances to take care of them and begin to ground them. These youth that's coming to the fields, it's going to take a lot of hot dogs and toilet paper. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, I don't believe this could happen if we were destitute of, of finances. Because there is a shaking. There's wrong things that's going. And it's going to be a lot of shaking in finances. But you have the say. The redeemed has the say. There's enough of you here to change things in this United States. Most of you would never get up until you had to. Now, get ready to get up. Get ready to get active in Christ. So, now I'll get back to the green gourds and the pot. <laughs>